Paul Scanlon, advisor to the president at Huawei. Thank you very much indeed for joining us here at Economy Middle East. We're at uh, Mobile World Congress in, in Barcelona. Could you please tell us what new technologies to look forward for at Huawei and maybe give us a little tour around this wonderful city-like stand that you have here, actually? <laughs> well, it's good you say it's a city, right? Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to guide our customers and industry partners, anybody in this ecosystem, to what we're saying, business success, right? So that's why it's all about, I'll say, you know, intelligent world direction. So you ask about the city, the world combination of cities, right? Wonderful. So what we're doing here is we're guiding people, yes, in talking about things like how to achieve these success cases, yes? So we're starting over here, you know, guide is an acronym, right? So you can see it over here, it's giga stuff, it's I for intelligence and innovation, Ultra broadband, GUI, you know, the D, etc. But E is for energy efficiency. Right. Okay, so that's very important, green technology. So we start with a concept over here, yes, on the left hand side. And then we, you asked about our technologies. And then we show examples of technology. So we show why the investment in 5G so far has been very good, why we have to move to 5.5G. And that's largely because we see the capacity in 5G is already exhausted. Uplink, uplink, you know, you broadcast to me, your colleagues here broadcasting up into the cloud. It's not Netflix, right? All right. So that needs a different architecture. And that's why we're moving from 5 to 5.5 G, okay? Then we demonstrate examples of antenna technology that we have here, where, you know, the antenna is this thick, right? And it has 384 dipoles, more than anybody else. What does it mean? The E for green, energy efficiency. For the same amount of energy, you get 30% more, more coverage, more capacity, or for the same, you get 30% less energy. So this is examples of technology. Why the direction? Because of demand. Why the reason, the need for new technologies, yes? Then we move around to things like some of our small cells. Look at all the people in here. The cell outside, tower isn't gonna connect in here. So we need very innovative solutions in here. So you'll see Huawei's small lamp sites that are doing two, three, four, 5G plus Wi-Fi, all integrated with fiber and electricity, all in one cable. So you, it's almost plug and play. So this again helps telecom operators and industry partners to come inside. And that's how we do things like education, healthcare, manufacturing, et cetera. Yeah? So that's how we're starting the concept. Then of course, fiber solutions, IP solutions, IT solutions, all of these fiber, you know, fiber doesn't use a lot of energy. So the more fiber you put in, the less you're using, right? So it makes sense. IT, the data center, it's all about floor space. If you can pack more storage bits into a smaller space, you pay less rent, monetize. If you consume less energy, monetize. So that's how Huawei thinks, right? And then down the middle here, we have a street, which we call a 5G business success street. And down here on the left and the right side, starting with AIS, China Mobile, China Unicom, China Telecom, and then moving across to Hong Kong, Ethiopia, Safaricom in, uh, in Kenya, etc. right? So we have all these customers who are using different technology from Huawei in order to achieve different types of success in their business, according to their targets and you know what their DNA is or perhaps the culture of the country, what's important to them. So it's a business success story. Wonderful. And, and just give me a couple of words on Mobile World Congress 2023. How's it going so far and what do you expect to achieve at the end of it? Okay, so we have about uh, 10,000 guests coming here. So I presume everybody else, you know, that's 10,000. They're probably going to be wandering around more. So I'm, I don't know how the numbers, but I'm guessing more than 100,000 as it used to be in the old days before COVID are coming back to MWC. The first thing is you saw the digital experience in entering here, very smooth, very efficient, yes. When you go through the halls, okay, maybe layouts similar to the past, but I think what's different is you can start to see a lot of application of technology, innovation from all of the leading telecom operators, even from all the other partners and competitors, Huawei's, etc. And even, you know, very surprising segues there with their latest scooters and bike. It's really interesting to see adoption of technology. So I can see this year, you know, after COVID, really everything taking off, all this innovation that's almost like pent up innovation and pent up demand and ideas is coming out here in Barcelona at MWC 2023. Well, wonderful. I know you have an extremely busy schedule, but thank you for taking time here with us at Economy Middle East and wish you all the best for the remaining three and a half days.